Alrighty then, let's see. Buffalo style chicken. Good. Mac and cheese. Good. Alright, let's check out the nutrition. Okay. We'll just leave it like that. Hi everybody, this is the Coffee Break Review Reviewer where I uh, do some nice light-hearted tabletop reviews while enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Ah, oh, good. Okay, so, I always say I do everything from a fancy camera to a new flavor of chips. Well, the last two reviews I did were a little bit techy. I figured I'd uh, make this one a little more light-hearted. I saw these recently, a uh, commercial for these Banquet Mega Bowls, and sounded interesting. I like buffalo-style chicken, I like mac and cheese, I figured I'd try it out. Alright, check out first the packaging. I have to say, it looks pretty nice. Nice, colorful, mega, you know, always men like mega so that sounds good um shows the product pretty well a uh, nice attractive picture we'll see if that resembles what the real thing looks like trying to do this 31 grams of protein make it sound like it's really good for muscles and all that stuff um so i think the packaging looks pretty nice at least on the outside when i looked in my local grocery store um, they were in the case with all the other lean cuisine meals and the hungry men meals and all that stuff um, sort of on the bottom two shelves and then flat on the bottom uh, where they were located um, in the general banquet section. Um, there was the mac and cheese, this buffalo style mac and cheese on about the middle shelf. One below it was a beef macaroni and on the bottom sort of horizontal area I believe it was a country fried chicken and I'm not sure if it had potatoes or not. I didn't look too closely at it. All right, so uh, check out the nutritional value because, uh, well, no one should want to know this if you're eating one of these meals, but I guess it's good to check out. Uh, I'll have to tilt this a little bit more so we can get into shot. All right, uh, so it is one um, serving uh, per bowl, which is good. Sometimes they sneak it in and it actually is two, and no one's going to have two different servings. Everyone's going to eat as one. Uh, 16 grams of fat, 6 saturated fat. Uh, 65 milligrams of cholesterol, and then we hit the big one, and this thing is through me for a loop. 2100 milligrams of sodium, 91% of your daily value. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. Uh, 49 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of dietary fiber, 8 grams of sugar, 31 grams of protein. So, that is nuts, I do have to say. That's 2100 milligrams of sodium. Wow. All right. Um, so then that uh, packaging, you know, sort of shows chicken breast, mac and cheese, made in USA, big stamp. And then we have the directions on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Microwave oven. You can do conventional oven. Really, who's doing these things in a conventional oven? Um, Microwave on high, four minutes, no need to vent film, so no need to cut. Stir and replace. Microwave an additional two to three minutes. And check the food is cooked thoroughly to 165. Really? Someone's actually going to put a thermometer in there? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll see. Um, so, I'm going to cook these uh, as close to the instructions as I can. High on four minutes. I'll probably do this two and a half, right in the middle. And then we'll see. All right, let's uh, let's take it out of its packaging. So, what we got here. Let's try and do this without spilling the cup of coffee. And actually, doesn't look that bad, really. It's a nice bowl. We got film on it. Chunks of chicken are a good size. Um, contrast that a little bit to how they are shown in the pack on the package. I guess that's, yeah, I guess there were chunks. I was a little worried that the, actually the chicken was going to be in larger pieces. Because I'm the type that I like to mix everything together. So I like to have a scoop of mac and cheese and chicken on the same thing. So um, if it was bigger, then I'd have to get a knife, cut it up. But this, uh, this looks good. It looks like it's well distributed um, around. A couple of different types of cheese. Um, so I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to cook it. And I'll come back when it's done. 
All right, see you in a bit. All right, so I just uh, microwaved it for the first section of four minutes, and now it says to stir and replace film. It has a nice little pull tab showing you where to pull. So open it. Okay, um, bowl is a little bit, I would say, on the flimsy side. It's not plastic. It is sort of a cardboard type bowl. Um, now that it has the rigidity of sort of melting a little bit, it is a little on the flimsy side. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but just uh, just be careful with it a little bit. I smell, do smell the buffalo. It does smell pretty, not bad. It smells like buffalo chicken. Um, mac and cheese looks pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's a baked mac and cheese. It's probably a little bit more of the consistency of a craft type mac and cheese, but with um, elbow macaroni. So I'm gonna mix it all in. And put it back in, Fur it up, put it back in the microwave for another two and a half minutes. It does uh, say two to three minutes and these this is uh, instructions is based on a, I just saw it, I believe it's a 1100 watt microwave oven. Yes, 1100 watt. So if you know your watch, your microwave oven, you can uh, adjust the time up and down based on that. All right, come back at the end. Alrighty, we are all cooked. And one thing I did find interesting, I was just looking at the packaging. Uh, it does say for the oven to let it stand for two minutes afterwards but not for the microwave, which is kind of unusual. Usually they say when you cook something in a microwave, let it stand for two minutes, probably just so you don't burn yourself. Um, sometimes it helps sauce thickens up. Um, but this one didn't say that, so I thought that was a little unusual. I don't know if it's just a uh, sort of a typo that they've forgotten left that out. All right, so let's open it up, and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is steam coming out. I'm gonna get rid of this plastic wrap. Oh, that is a little bit on the warm side, I do have to say. Throw that away. Go back, give it another stir. Everything is loose. Um, sort of, I would say, a little liquidy consistency. Probably a little more saucy than I would like. A little more liquidy. Uh, this probably could stand waiting a few minutes to see if it's going to firm up uh, a little bit. Um, let's see if I can just show you the sauce dripping off. So it is on more of the liquidy side of, side of the cheese than I would like. It does smell pretty good. All right, I'm going to actually let this stand for a moment, let it thicken up a little bit, see if that'll happen. Uh, I just want to point out some few things I noticed while uh, it was cooking, I saw. I thought this was neat. Um, here it tells you what's recyclable and what's not recyclable. Usually my kids are always asking me when they're throwing stuff away, this is, does this go into recycling? Does this go into recycling? And this is the first time I've noticed where one says to put the box in, but the tray isn't because it's a multi-layer, which must mean it has a little bit of plastic, a little bit of paper in it. Um, also, you have these things you can scan for more food information if you really uh, want some move. Uh, more food information. QR code. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be something. I've never heard of that smart label and that seen that symbol before. So I'm not sure if that's something that you scan. If you do know, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to know what that is. Uh, if that is indeed something. All right. So I guess uh, that's stood long enough. Might as well try it. I am getting hungry. You actually doesn't look that bad for a microwave meal. And it does say that portion size is 14 ounces um, and it's a pretty good size I would say it's a great good size to have as a little lunch at work um, personally I'd probably throw an apple in there with it um, and then a drink and uh, it's a nice little lunch at work all right so I'm gonna try the macaroni first hopefully I don't burn my mouth there is still some steam coming off of it mm. Try to get some without the chicken first, and then I'll do the chicken, and then I'll do the mac and the chicken together. All right, here we go. It's not bad. There is um, buffalo taste to the macaroni. It's not just sort of just cheese. It seems like they've uh, mixed some buffalo flavoring in there with it. The consistency of the macaroni is 
Let me try it again. A little on the softer side than I like. I like my pasta a little bit firmer. My wife's totally opposite. She likes it her soft. This was more of the consistency that she would like. It does have a little bit of spice to it. Not that I'm running to grab something to drink, but you can tell there's there's spice in there. Um, it's not bad overall. All right, get a piece of chicken here. And you can see the size of the chunk of chicken fits nicely on the fork. And I'd say there was a good amount of chicken. Um, I wouldn't say, I wasn't looking at this saying, wow, they really skimped on the chicken. But neither am I looking at it say, holy smokes, I can't believe how much chicken there is. So there's probably a good amount, um, a decent normal size amount. That 31 grams of protein probably has something to do with the cheese also. It's Don't think it's all chicken. All right. So, I'm going to try a piece of chicken here. Chicken's a little a little spongy, a little dry on the dry side. Um, not my favorite chicken. I don't think I've tasted uh, chicken in other meals that were a little bit better. Um, but it's okay. It probably serves its purpose. I did notice that... They said it's bu uh, buffalo seasoned chicken, so they pro it looked like it was they roasted it first, pre-cooked, with some buffalo seasoning on it, and then added some buffalo seasoning to the macaroni. All right, try and get a good uh, forkful with both together. See how they play along with each other. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Hmm. Not bad. It's good. Um, the macaroni kind of gets lost. I think the buffalo... I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it. I guess it is it is what it is, you know? I was going to say that the, mac the macaroni and cheese sort of gets lost in the buffalo flavoring. But then again, it is buffalo-style chicken mac and cheese. Um, I would probably... I would probably say they could probably tone down these buffalo flavoring in the cheese sauce so you do get more of a mac and cheese taste and then have the buffalo sauce or buffalo flavoring come from the chicken and then when you mix together they sort of combine where you still get the mac and cheese but you get the chicken. Really, when I put it in my mouth I'm just pretty much getting all buffalo style flavoring which isn't bad, you know. I like buffalo flavoring so it's not bad and it's not hot hot I could probably eat this whole bowl without reaching for something to drink um, and I'm not a guy that really downs all these type of habanero peppers and all these different pipe, types of peppers so I would say I'm on the lighter side of someone that can take really hot uh, spicy food and this it's good enough you know it's there you feel the the tang on the back of your tongue and then you swallow it and there's a little bit lingering but it's nothing that's uh, overboard so would I get this again yeah well I would for the taste you know it's convenient it didn't take that long to make it's a good amount of food it's a freezer meal good to bring to work throw in the freezer and it's a good amount of food for the day, like I said, pair it with an apple, a drink, you know, or a little side salad. That's not too bad. I think it would be pretty good. The thing that kills it for me is that sodium. That sodium is outrageous, the amount of sodium there. So I probably wouldn't get it based on that sodium alone, um, the sodium content. I'll have to check the other meals, um, see how their sodium content is, the, the other mega bowls from Banquet, see if it's worth getting for them. Um, but if you can live with the sodium, the taste isn't that bad. If you like buffalo flavoring, you like mac and cheese, I say give it a try. You'll probably enjoy it. All right, I'm going to finish up. I'm going to finish up my coffee. I've been sipping it a little bit uh, while it's been cooking. And I am going to go get ready to uh, enjoy this. So thank you very much for joining me on the Coffee Break Reviewer. I'll uh, we'll be back next week with another review of, I don't know yet, whatever passes my fancy and uh, looks like it'd be something uh, neat to experience. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody. So long.